Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m plus 1 divided by 1 minus m is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of m. So here in this method first we will find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, uh, uh, I hope so you like this method, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. Uh, so here, uh, we just move the turn diff which is run lies in the denominator into the right hand side. So it is divided by left hand side. When we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by 1 and it will be written as m plus 1 is equals to 1 multiplied by 1 minus m and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m plus 1 equals to 1 multiplied by 1 minus m is equals to 1 minus m so here uh, we need to move the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as this is negative n when we move it into the left hand side it will become positive m and in the same pattern when you move this one uh, to the left hand side it will become minus one and uh, the whole equation is equals to zero and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is m plus m is equals to two times of m and this is the negative term and this is the positive term are cancelled out by each other and we will get here this whole equation is equals to zero and now here further because our target is to find the values of m so that's why we divide both of the sides by two in order to remove this two from left hand side uh, so that we divide it by two and this will be written as this two and this two are cancelled out by each other and we get here our m is equals to here you know about that when we divide zero with two uh, or when we divide zero with any other number it is always get the answer is zero so from here we get the value of m is equals to zero so this is the trivial solution of this problem and now here we will get only one root of the given equation and that is m equals to zero so in the next step we need to verify that is this value of m is satisfied our given question statement or is this value of m with extraneous root so for this uh, we need to verify this value and here we copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is m plus 1 divided by 1 minus m is equals to 1 and here we substitute this value of m into the left hand side and we check that is this satisfied over this equation or not so for this when you put it here it will become 0 plus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 is equals to 1 and further in the next step we have 0 plus 1 becomes here 1 divided by 1 minus 0 is also equals to 1 and this whole equation is equals to 1 so here you see that 1 over 1 equals to 1 equals 1 this shows that both of the sides are equal so if both of the sides are equal this uh, means that the value of m equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so now here uh, I can just uh, explain the difference between solution and extraneous root. So the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution. Likewise here m equals to 0. And uh, the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root. But unfortunately this question does not have any extraneous root. So we have the only one root of the given equation and this root be the solution of the given equation. Uh, so finally we have the solution set of this question is m is equal to 0. So this is the, our final conclusion about this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.